to my channel. Today we are going to be cleaning and organizing a little bit around my apartment. It's not officially spring yet. I think the official like start of spring is in two weeks or so, but I want to do a bit of spring cleaning, a little early spring cleaning, because it always feels good to just get rid of stuff that you're no longer using, declutter a little bit, and then I can really use everything that I want to use and I can, you know, see it all clearly and it's just a lot more calm for my mind as well. Before we get started, if you do like my makeup look today, I do have a video on this that I posted on Wednesday, so a few days ago. I used all of the same products today, so if you want to see how I got this makeup look, I'll have that video linked below. We just redid a part of our bathroom. We got a new uh, medicine cabinet, like a nice mirrored cabinet, as well as a new sink. So it's a really nice little change in the bathroom now. And I was actually just going through everything and looking through my skincare and choosing what I was going to keep, what I'm going to give away, what's just expired that I just have to get rid of. And I thought I would take out my camera. This cabinet is twice as big as the one that we had before. So it has two times the amount of space, which is very exciting because I love skincare. I have a lot of products, so I think it's now going to be more nicely displayed and more organized, and I, I can't wait to see everything like put in its place. I did also get a few new organizational like little containers for small things that I have in the vanity that I want to just, you know, keep more organized. So I'm going to show those to you guys as well. I do also want to go through my closets with you guys and hopefully we can do that today, if not tomorrow. But first let's start with the bathroom. I'm so, so excited for this. So these are the little containers that I got for kind of like the odds and ends that I have in my bathroom. And these are all from Muji. They have some really great more like simplistic organizational things i also saw these little trays that i thought were really cute for like small things that maybe get wet more often so with this they won't leave a mark on the actual shelf it's just a lot easier to clean this and now into our bathroom so this is the new cupboard that we got it's a beautiful big mirrored uh, medicine cabinet just from ikea and it's so humongous I'm so excited about this. I will leave the exact information for this cupboard down below in the description box. So we are going to clean this up. And here are all of my skincare products. So I'm going to keep most of these. I've gone through a few of them and I've just thrown out the ones that are old and expired. I'm also going to bring in a few new products that I've recently gotten that I just want to try out that are in my other room. By the way, I love this little shelf. It's a very small shelf, but I think it's so cute. I love having this plant on there. We've got little um, q-tips over there, some body lotions, a diffuser, and here I usually keep my face towels. They've just been washed. They're on my bed, so we're going to fold those together and put them in there later. But first, let's get all of these products from there into here. all of my cleansers and toners here on the first shelf. These are some of the little odds and ends that I was talking about that I need to separate into these um, smaller containers. So we've got some hair ties, clips, tweezers, nail files, more clips, brow brush, and some other um, like little small things, floss and clippers and things like that. So all of my hair ties are going to go into 
this one right here and this one I'm gonna do clips and in the last one I'm gonna put some tampons <laughs> you know the essentials I do need to get some more though but those are gonna go in there I'm gonna take my nail files put them into this one these longer clips those are gonna go into there and I'll put the brow brush in there as well and then my um, tweezers are gonna go here too like so. Okay, so everything is now in. We have made so much progress. I love how organized this is. So here on the first shelf, I kept my cleansing waters, my toners. I do mainly wash my face in the shower, so I have most of my face cleansers in there. So I just have one cleanser here, then I've got some toners. These are some acid toners, an essence. This is a micellar water that I use to take off my makeup, a toner, and some cotton pads. And over on this side, I've got some hair products, some serums and oil, a body lotion, some body oils as well, a body serum from which is really good and then on this level here I've put my serums and some masks I've also put my facial massage tools into this glass which is an old candle and I think it looks really pretty so this is a good way to reuse your um, candle jars when you're done with them so I've got my jade roller another little facial massage tool over here my gua sha and the one from nurse Jamie which is really really good I love a good face mask so I actually have two um, sections of them and I just tried to separate them by what they do so this first row is more clarifying and then we've got more moisturizing ones up here and then again on this side we've got some serums and here I put this longer tray that I showed you guys before I love how this looks and it just keeps like all of these kind of smaller serums nicely together and again if they do spill like some of the oil sometimes you'll get like a little mark it's easier to just take this out and wipe it down then to wipe down um, the whole glass so I've got my vitamin C's over here this one from drunk elephant is one of my favorites and I recently got it into the one from Ren which is right there I recently got this when I was in LA this is from moon juice it's called beauty shroom it's a plumping jelly serum it's really nice and then I've also got some facial oils. You guys probably know that I really love this one from The Ordinary. This is the pure um, rosehip seed oil. This one from Vintner's Daughter is also amazing. And the one from Sunday Riley called Juno. And then over here, I've got some more nighttime specific treatments. So the Eyes Clinical Active Serum is really good. I've got some retinol and the TLC from Drunk Elephant is really nice as well. So those are the serums. And then over here, we've got moisturizers. Um, eye creams and SPF. This Proteiny moisturizer right here is so good. I think this is now my fourth bottle or so. It is so good, feels amazing on the skin and it's not too heavy, but it moisturizes really, really well. And then for sunscreen, I'm really into the one from Supergoop and I have a few others here that I'm trying as well. And then on this top row, we've got these little kind of like loose ends, but still important. Mo does dip into some of these things as well, but he really, really likes these ones from Dr. Jart. I do wear contacts, so this is my contact lens solution over here. I've got my little case over there. And then this is the soap that I use to wash my makeup brushes with. And again, I think a little tray here is good as well because these do get a bit messy. So it's like a little coaster for them and I think it's gonna work really well. I did put in this rose quartz crystal in here. Rose quartz is really good for beauty, for love. So I'm putting it in my um, skincare cabinet to infuse all the products with really good, loving, beautiful energy. So these are all of my designated face towels. They've just been washed, so I have them all here. I use a fresh towel every single time I wash my face because there's so much bacteria that can get built up on our towels that we use for our body because I have very sensitive skin I just don't want to you know take the risk of bacteria getting on my face so I use a clean towel every single time and these are really inexpensive you can just buy them in bulk so I think this is really important for skincare especially if you have more sensitive or acne prone skin and I like to just roll them up like this because I think it makes them look a little bit prettier and kind of like you know you're at a nice hotel or something gives a little bit more of a luxurious feel 
to your bathroom and again it's a very very simple uh, thing to do and it's so so helpful for your skin that we got the other one that we had didn't have any um, drawers so this is really nice in this bottom one I've put my hair tools um, some hair brushes I like that it comes with this little divider as well it's really really convenient and then over here we've got some toilet paper and these are some of most tools so he's got his beard trimmers over here and then I've just sneaked in my um, hair product that I use when I curl my hair so I've got my hairspray my dry shampoo and this is a new one that I'm trying out from Bumble and Bumble it's their Pret a powder and I've heard really good things about this so I'm trying that out it is now lunchtime and I have worked up quite an appetite this is one of my favorite places to order from it's really healthy really good I got a tomato soup and this is a salad with quinoa kale pumpkin cranberries and it's got a tahini dressing that goes with it so I'm gonna eat this and then I'll continue Alright, so the bathroom part of my skincare is done and now we are on to the second part which are in these drawers right here. So I have these organized by category. So I've got lotion, serums and oils in the first one. I've got masks and treatments over here and then I've got cleansers and toners and the bottom one is some hair care. So just like I did with the skincare in my bathroom, I'm gonna go through all of these things and see what's old, what I have to get rid of, what's new that I wanna try and also also some things that I could put into giveaways for you guys and things that are kind of like half used but haven't expired yet I'm gonna put into a donation pile so I have three different bags over here so there's one for giveaways one for donation and one for products that are just old and expired I won't make it easy for you now Up my time, and I don't really break too easily, but I'm worth it. Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight. Oh, so give me, so give me your all. I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars. Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind. Just watch me. Pray. these skincare drawers have now been cleaned out I have some body care over here and some makeup bits those I might do a little bit later but I really wanted to get through all of my skincare which I did so these are going for donation this stuff is old and expired I have to throw that away and then these are for future giveaways for you guys there's lots of good stuff in here I will probably do a giveaway within this video at some point so stay tuned for that so the organization will continue tomorrow right now I am 
heading into the city to meet a friend for dinner. This is my outfit of the day or of the night. <laughs> I'm wearing this really cozy jacket from Zara. I got this, I think it was in September or October of last year and I love it so much. It's so cozy. I've got my favorite jeans on from a gold and then this really nice um, lightweight cashmere sweater from Mango and my earrings are from Another Stories and then I've got my Chanel bag and we are ready to go. guys it is day two of my spring cleaning and organizing and decluttering and today we are doing my closets the goal is to go through everything that I have and separate what I want to donate what I can maybe sell and of course the things that I want to keep I am pretty good with my closets on a general basis because I don't like to have too many things in there that are just kind of like cluttering up the space but it's been a while since I've gone through them so I really just want to keep the things that I know I'm gonna wear and I want it to feel really fresh in my closet I want like a good spring feeling I want to open my closets and know that I can wear everything in there I'm not gonna take out all of my uh, summer stuff which is in my suitcases um, behind this closet the weather is getting better but it's nowhere near summer yet so we're not gonna do that today but I really just want to minimize what I have donate the things that I'm no longer really interested in or wearing a lot so that someone else can get more wear out of them and more use out of them. So the main part that I really want to go through are these drawers over here. I also want to have a look through my perfumes and see um, what I can give away. I'm also going to go through all of my jewelry because that definitely needs a little bit of a declutter. And I also want to do this main portion of my closet that definitely needs a little bit of organization and maybe we'll delve into this closet a little bit as well these are my skirts and shorts and then here I have my jeans and things these definitely do not belong here so I have to change those as well and I have this mountain of clothes over here that I have to fold and um, separate these are some jeans that I need to hang up this is where I have all of my sweaters if you guys saw my um, closet tour video that I posted a few months ago now you would have seen all of these drawers so this one is not that bad but then we get into this part oh this one definitely needs a little bit of a organizing and um, a bit of a tidy up we're gonna get through all of these together this does not belong there to set the mood I'm also gonna light a candle so that the room smells really good this one is from Jo Malone it's the honeysuckle and Divana it smells really good and quite springy so it's putting me in the mood I'm also gonna put on a podcast whilst I do this these are some of my favorites right now how I built this is a great one if you guys are entrepreneurial super soul Sunday is really good I like Gary V I've especially been into the Ed Milet show it's really good this one with Jesse it's I think that's how you say his name is amazing I listened to that one yesterday it's really good so I'm gonna find one here and get to work I'm not really 
really loving anymore. I used to wear them quite a bit as like a everyday, like comfy casual type of jean, but I haven't worn them in really long, so I will be donating these. And the same thing with these ones. I haven't worn them in ages, so these will be going into the donation pile as well. I do also like to keep my comfy pants hanging just so that I can again just see what I have and it's more organized. I'm quite happy with that and I do get a lot of wear out of all of these things. I've gotten rid of a lot of denim over the last few months and just really keeping the ones that I know that I wear. These lighter pieces are of course more spring and um, summery. Now I'm gonna go through all of these things right here and just again separate what I want to keep, what I want to give away. I'm first just gonna take out all of the hangers. These are two of my uh, jackets that I wear for the gym. I'm gonna put these on the upper level. This one has to be folded and put into the drawers. And then all of these tops, these I like to have on black velvet hangers if they're gonna be in this row, just to keep everything looking more cohesive. So I'm just gonna change out the hangers for these, but I like them both, so these are staying. All right, so let's start going through this. We have made so much progress. I'm so much happier with how this looks now. I got rid of a lot of stuff, you guys. Look at all those hangers. All of this is going for donation. I've got lots and lots of stuff here. And all of it is in good condition. If there's anything that's old or has any holes in it or something, I'm just gonna throw that away. So I'm gonna fold all of that and put it in a bag. And now we are on to the second level, which are all of my jackets. is now done as well and I've organized it by more like fluffy coats over here my leather biker jackets I just kept two denim jackets because I had a few and I kept the ones that I think I'm gonna wear the most and over here we've got blazers this is another white blazer and these are all of my bomber jackets and then my workout jackets over here and this is a little vest that I wear um, usually on top of this when I go to the gym I used to have the bottom part organized by color but instead now I'm putting my little like strappy tops over on this side and kind of color coordinated so I'm starting with the strappy tops here from white to black and then I've got my more long sleeve things over here again kind of organized by color but I'm really really happy with this it feels so much more decluttered and I actually want to wear all of these things now I'm gonna tackle these drawers right here I think I'm just gonna take everything out and see what I want to keep Kid. I am not your mama, just admit what you 
through this little jewelry box that I have there are some things in here that I absolutely do not wear anymore so I'm gonna get rid of those things this is an example of what I really love I did get those quite recently I also got them in the slightly um, smaller kind as well I used to wear these all the time when I lived in New York they're now really old they've gone quite rusty so I'm just gonna be giving these away This looks so much better right now. I love it. So these are all of the clothes that I will be giving away. I cannot even tell you how good this feels. This bag in the corner here is also donation. So we've got a lot of stuff going on here. It's amazing. It's such a good cleanse, especially now for spring. Plus it's really nice to know that someone will get really good use out of these things instead of them just sitting in my closet. And these are all of the hangers that I cleared and there's more here on the bed as well and here is everything ready to be taken to the donation center so these are the products that I'm putting in this video's giveaway I'm so excited for one of you to receive these the Sunday Riley Luna sleeping night oil is one of my favorite favorite retinols it's so so good the instructions for how to enter the giveaway will be down below in the description box i really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and enjoyed spending time with me as i clean and organize let me know if you did enjoy it and we can definitely do more i'm always up for organizing some part of my apartment things just do get messy and a bit out of control and it just feels so much better when you know things are more minimal and you can see everything that you have so i would highly highly recommend to have a deep cleanse of all of your things if you haven't done that already it feels so good and so refreshing and just like I have a new inspiration now to get dressed and to do my skincare I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and I will see you on Wednesday with a new video Mwah. bye guys <laughs>